Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce interrogative words in the nominative case. Interrogative words are used to introduce a question. Unlike simple yes-no questions, interrogative words require a more detailed response. In the sentence you see on the screen, the interrogative word where inquires about the position of the subject. The more detailed response to the question is provided by the prepositional phrase in the library. In German, like in English, the interrogative word comes at the beginning of the sentence. Here the interrogative adverb wo, where, sets up a question inquiring about the location of the subject. The verb will come in the second position in sentences beginning with an interrogative word. We will see in a later presentation that the verb comes in the first position in yes-no questions. Finally, as is the case with most English interrogative words, it is useful to note that German interrogative words begin with the letter W. For this reason, they are often called W words, in German, W Wörter. There are different types of interrogative words. Interrogative pronouns can be used to ask questions about the identity of a noun. For example, wer, who, was, what, and welch, which, are interrogative pronouns. The ending for vej are determined by the case and gender of the noun it modifies. We will look at how to add these endings in a later presentation. Ver also has different accusative, dative, and genitive forms, which we will also examine later. In the sentence you see here, ver ist das, who is that, the interrogative pronoun ver inquires about the identity of a person. You will note that the interrogative pronoun is in the first position, the verb in the second position. Interrogative pronouns can also inquire about the quantity, number, and characteristics of a noun. Wie viel, how much, wie viele, how many, and wie groß, how tall, large. These interrogative pronouns, as you see on the screen, usually appear in compound forms. Since these pronouns appear directly before a noun, they are sometimes also called interrogative adjectives. The interrogative pronoun, wie viel, how much, is usually used in conjunction with a singular noun to ask about the quantity or volume of that noun. For example, wie viel Wasser trinken Sie? How much water are they drinking? The verb technically still comes in the second position, after the compound interrogative pronoun and the noun it precedes. The interrogative pronoun wie viele, how many, is usually used in conjunction with a plural noun to ask about the number of that noun. For example, Wie viele Studenten kommen heute? How many students are coming today? Again, the verb appears in the second position. We can use any adjective following V to create a compound interrogative pronoun. Here, for example, you see the adjective groß, tall, large, used to inquire about the height of a person. Wie groß bist du? How tall are you? Interrogative adverbs differ from interrogative pronouns in that they ask questions about the activity of a noun, the reasoning why an activity is performed, when it was performed, and the manner in which it was performed. Some interrogative adverbs are warum, why, wann, when, and wie, how. In the sentence you see on the screen, wann kommt er, when is he, uh, when is he coming, the interrogative adverb wann inquires about the time when an activity will be performed by the subject of the sentence. Interrogative adverbs also ask questions about the location of an activity and its direction. These interrogative adverbs include wo, where, wohin, where to, and woher, where from. For example, in the sentence here, wohin geht sie, where is she going to, the interrogative adverb wohin inquires about the direction of an activity performed by the subject of the sentence. It is common colloquial practice to break wohin and woher into two parts so that the separated adverb hin or her comes at the very end of the question. This separation does not change the meaning of the sentence. Finally, as you see here, there are several different ways of asking what is essentially why. Germans are, apparently, very inquisitive people. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.